today I'm going to be showing you how I maintain my faux locks. Um, I've had this in like a day before my surgery and I pretty much did like a little mini vlog about um, what I was going to be doing and if you watch that video you know that I had surgery. So how I maintain my lock, my um, foot locks, um, first I'm going to show you how I cover up my gray which I had since I was a teenager. So I actually just came from ShopRite and I bought this root precision from L'Oreal Paris. It's a pen that I'm going to be using today for the first time. So, and then I'm gonna be showing you how I um, do it. So just watch. It has like a little thingy that you put, that you just turn until you see the color. And you put this on wherever you have gray. I don't know what I'm doing because I've never used this before. And it's supposed to dry instantly. I'm gonna just use my edge brush after this to make sure that I brush it in completely. And I must move my ring light back just a little bit because it's kind of too close. Like right here, I see that I need more. So I'm gonna put more until I'm satisfied. If this works, this is what I'm going to be doing from now on. And when I applied this, it was just like a protective style because I was having surgery. And the reason why I had surgery, which many people was asking me to do a vlog about, um, I was actually parked one day on my way to work well I was driving and then I pulled over and I was on my way to work and this MTA bus just hit my parked car and I had injections two surgeries so far I have five injections some straggly pieces. I'm gonna try to fix it because this is a protective style and I want it to last as long as it can. And this hair is actually um, was sent to me and I didn't get a chance to do a video on it because I was getting ready to have surgery. So it is sponsored and they, the company will be watching this video, so I'm gonna try to do my best. You know how you gotta just look for like the pieces that didn't work properly? And I did a lot of skipping, so I just wanna make sure 
I mean, I like them kind of messy, but... I don't know, see like here. You don't want the um, excess, excess to like be too much. And then you don't want to cut off too much, so I'm going to leave that one. I never really got a chance to actually like fix it. Because I did this the day before my surgery. So, I think it's really, really pretty. I got my little accessories going on. And I didn't do it for it to be perfect, so. to buy this root touch up thing just know that it's temporary that you should actual you should actually go and get um something more permanent if you have this issue like what i have and as i said i've always had gray hair always I'm just putting it anywhere because I'm going to lay my baby here. And then I'm going to just lay down what I want to be laid and I'm going to push back what I need to be pushed back. You don't have to put the guts to be all at once if you don't want to. But I'm doing, I'm sticking to what I know. I wasn't even into BBS um, up until recently. It's just something that everybody else was doing, so I wanted to copy. since I put the thing, I have to basically like feel it out. So you're gonna just watch me figure this out. And I like a lot because this has to be actually lays my edges, nothing else lays. I try almost everything. All that expensive um, edge control and stuff, that'll work for me. Cause I have like stubborn baby hair, like it lays the way it wants to lay.
This is the only thing I don't like about this. I'm filming. I should look into doing, to selling hair growth oil. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, after I do that, and since I didn't actually finish my hair the way I was supposed to when I put this in. I'm going to take my guts to be mousse.
and you will put it on and get ready for bed. So now, um, this concludes the video. Um, if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Later.